Hey everyone, and welcome to more arcade gameplay. Uh, keeping to the theme of today, it's a whole Mirio day, so we had some online gameplay for him, and now let's get some arcade in for him. I feel we've seen their Plus Ultra 3 a few times, but, you know, if I get the opportunity, I'll throw in another one. Yeah, sure. Alright, let's do this. Oh, God. Don't do that to me. You're the first fight. Let's make this quick and easy. So he's talking about a bit in his online stuff. Oh, damn, I fucked it up. Uh, if you hold Y and just do this, he's, like, impenetrable to everything. It also helps, though, if you land the attack after when you release it. There we go. But, like, I've gone through unblockables with that. I've gone through, uh, these, like, gold moves. It would be OP if it wasn't for the fact that it doesn't last forever, but it still lasts a pretty good t amount of time. We couldn't just go down from that one hit. There we go. Eh, yeah, ready enough. Come here. Figured you'd drop that once I did that. Never rocket, you really didn't have to come out there. Hit her night eye. There we go. Aw, oh, she had the two her little stun up there though, unfortunately. That's like perfect to get through their blocks. At least with computers. I've learned that players are smarter than computers are with this stuff. And know timing a lot better than I do. Oh, sorry, Midoriya. Oh, okay, I guess both people got nothing out of that. Alright. Stop putting acid on the ground. You're ruining everything I'm trying to do. Alright, Krishna, take it easy. Ugh. I'm gonna end up, uh... Yeah, by the time I hit plus ultra 3, she's gonna be on her final hit. Oh, this works! I didn't know if it would work since I was in a wall run. Perfect. Well, we pulled that one on right off the bat. Yeah, say, that's definitely an S after that. I will say, as annoying and tedious as Root Y can be with how much blocking and, like, running around you have to do, it really taught me how to time and do blocking in this game way better than any fighting game has ever done for me before. You really learn to do something when a game forces you to. <laughs> Oops! I don't know what I was doing there. I tried to charge an attack that couldn't be charged. Alright, Hoppy. Come here. Damn frog. Well, I was kind of hoping you'd actually hurt her there. I didn't really need you to break anything for me anymore, Midoriya, but... I appreciate how far you went to help. Yeah, come here. You're done running around. Oh. 
Man, she really goes invisible there. Jesus. It's honestly sort of annoying, though. <laughs> like, the amount that they just suddenly dash to the side and punch you all of a sudden, like, stopping the actual ability to play the game. I mean, like I said, it's nice because it teaches you a lot of helpful things that have helped me out and online a bit, but it's annoying because that was, like, the one thing in Jump Force that I'm like, I wish this game wasn't just a blocking simulator. And apparently Bandai decided, hey, everyone hated that so much in the last game, let's put it into every fighter we own. It's like, no, guys. <laughs> that was a no-no for the last one. Alright, hit her down, Midoriya. He's one of the fast sidekick respawns, I realize. I need to put him in more on my stuff. Oh, I was not expecting an unblockable to come off of that one. What just happened there? There we go. Damn, I was hoping I'd be able to knock her. There we go. Invisible no more. Alright, hit her with this. I mean, this won't be a plus ultra finish, but it'll put me in, like, one combo range of being done with this fight. Uh, I still can't believe how much damage that does. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm not mistimed that again. There we go. Yeah, B's not bad for that performance. Alright, who's next? Probably another 1A, right? Yep. I'm starting to slowly understand what the back of the cards entail for when you're fighting someone. Because I'm pretty sure uh, the little rabbit ears are for class uh, 1A. It might even go further to like all UA students. I haven't actually paid that much attention to it. But like the hand I think is supposed to be for League of Assassins and then Chisaki's mask is for the Yakuza. I can't remember, I know there's a symbol for uh, Pro Heroes too. I can't remember exactly what it is right now. But it's sort of sad to think that I've been playing arcade for probably a combined total of almost 10 to 15 hours now and still have no idea. Oh, nice. Or I guess only just noticed it now. Oh, Midoriya. You let me down there. I wanted you to knock him out of it. Sorry, Mineta, but I really don't have time to lose to you. Okay. 
Honestly, I think half my problem with this game, though, when it really comes down to things, isn't so much that I have such bad timing with things, so much as I'm just impatient and hate to have to stand here and just block. Nice. Aw, oh, you bitch. I was getting ready to start smacking him from behind. Alright, well, he's done with those, at least. No, not... Th if you're getting up after the combo's ended, they shouldn't be combo breakers anymore. I mean, I know I also could just wait two seconds and get what I want out of it. But still, it's annoying to me. Oh, I meant to do B. Whoops. Oh well, this will finish him anyway. He wasn't deserving of a plus ultra 2. That's my excuse. I didn't fuck it up. Alright, we're coming back from our shitty last run. I don't even have like an actual conversation, it's just, man, I was strong. I guess they had just assumed that you'd spank the shit out of him and be done with it. Alright. Oh, I guess not. Because this is Kirishima here, and that was a, uh, overhaul symbol. So I guess this at least shows that I'm not completely oblivious, because if he was buying an overhaul symbol, then I was wrong about my earlier claim. I guess you can actually read the cards to assume who you're fighting. Unless there is something like that, and it's like, well, he was a part of that arc, so they gave him that. In which case, if you know, I guess tell me. Because now I'm just curious. Well, that's unfortunate. I was hoping he'd do his other move. Alright. It's fucking bastard. That was unfortunate. That was not a miss I needed. Alright. <laughs> We're getting this dumb with now. You're getting on my nerves. Oh! Knocking me through the floor. There we go. You don't need that anymore. I was hoping to combo in there, but alright. Oh. Wow, Bakugo, you came out just in time to get slapped. I gotta say, Kurishima's thing where he hardens isn't terrible to counter, but it's one of those things that every time it first happens, I get that initial panic of, oh shit, I don't know what to do. And it screws me more than anything. Why did he go underground there? That was a weird combo jump. I've never seen him do that. Wait, what am I... What the fuck am I saying? He does that every time. I guess I'm just not used to it because he normally doesn't miss. Oh. Oh shit. That'll break him out of it at least. Thanks, Deku. Alright, no more. Time to calm the fuck down. Sorry, buddy. He really didn't have all that much health left that I had to use this one, but I mean, if he got it, might as well. I've also used this a lot more than I ever expected I was going to in one game. Not exactly complaining that I've used it as much, because with the exception of the one that Ida and Todoroki do, this one's probably my favorite. I think it was probably their most creative, because I mean, it's not exactly, but most of what they did for uh, the Todoroki Deku Ida one was just sort of copied and based around the Stain fight.
Alright, so who's behind this? Fuck. I mean, I fought him as Najiri and didn't do terrible last time, but ever since getting my ass kicked for about 15 minutes straight as Sun Eater, it's left this sour taste in my mouth for every time I see him pop up. Uh-oh. That was not the attack I was hoping he'd do there. That was a mistake on my part. I meant to do his underground attack and didn't realize I was still holding block when I did it. So this is not going well. I would have restarted by now too because I don't like the way this is going, but this game doesn't give you a restart feature. And I just double checked to make sure I wasn't wrong as I said that, but yeah, it definitely doesn't. Ida, come on you dick. Alright, well, we're using this now, because kind of got a hope that I'm going to hit him. I did not. <laughs> now, this is real unfortunate. You son of a bitch. No. I'm learning his patterns, at least, so I know how to counter him. You did not need to do that dodge like that. Really, the bane of my existence in this entire game is the characters that have, like, four little yellow-gold moves in their combos. Because they're such a pain in the ass to have to deal with. Come here. God, you'd be easier to deal with if half your combos weren't bullshit. Motherfucker. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so I don't know how much of the last fight I added in there. Probably snippets of it. Ugh. He really, he's such a pain in the ass. Like, there are four characters that pop up in arcade mode that the minute they pop up, I know it's just going to be a hell show. And it's got to be him, Endeavor, Shoot Style Deku, and fucking All Might. The four of them, any time they show up, it's a fucking shit show. Because they have no obvious, like, tells to their combos. And you just have no clue what the fuck's going on half the time. I really wish that comboed better. Like, sometimes he'll do it, and other times he'll just stand there. There we go, we actually caught him. I didn't think the game would give that to us, but they did. I mean, we did damage to him, but we got caught in this fucking combo. Well, that's the last thing we needed. Well, let us dodge. Jesus fuck, dude. Oh god, that was good timing. Of course he's got to call in a fucking assist breaker. Christ, dude. Just fucking get hurt. It's just ridiculous. I fucking hate having to fight him in this game. Come here. There, he left an opening this time. Ooh! 
Hit him for me, Deku. You son of a bitch. I set you up specifically with that in mind that you could get him. Can one of you kick him so that he goes into a fucking wall already? There we go. He can like cut right through that. There we go. That invincibility really comes in clutch. Unfortunately, he's the only one that has it. Kinda of glad he called them both inks. Next time I get this fucker in a combo, they're not gonna be able to pull him out. Good. This will at least knock this out faster for us. I was gonna say, there's no way that fucking misses. Alright. Scar his other eye. Alright, Mirio, that's like a combo and a half. You can do that. Fuck. <laughs> Jesus, great start. Alright, don't you go spamming that now, you little asshole. Oh, nice. A li I waited a little wait late on that one, but eh, it's not terrible. Oh, this is it. Nice work, Mirio. Dear God. So that's probably the worst fight that we're going to have unless they stick Endeavor next. Which I could see us having to fight Endeavor as Mirio, seeing that they had the whole thing with Mirio being closest to... Uh, Number one. Oh god, I really hope it's not Endeavor next. I don't think I can mentally handle that. Oh, thank god. Okay, this shouldn't be bad. Alright, I know Momo has some quick moves that actually pull off pretty well, but... I can't imagine her having anything as ludicrous as what Todoroki did. Of course, she has Todoroki's an assist, but that shouldn't be as terrible. Although, I do see they like having her spam the spatula right off the bat, so that's fun. Nice! Ooh! I was not expecting her to drop it there. I really wish he'd just start attacking sooner. Like, I mash the button the second he gets into the air, and he just won't do it. I understand they don't want you to like spam shit, but seeing some of the attacks that do get spammed in this game, it seems kinda ridiculous to me that he can't chain a combo. I highly doubt that's the worst of their worries in terms of, is this game fair? That was not the attack I thought it was gonna be when I saw her raise that. Good to know. She doesn't hit me all that much, but she's done a whole hell of a lot of damage. That was a very weird, slow drawback time for her there that I was not expecting. Cool. Oh no, come here. Oh! Ooh, nice. Jesus, Dark Shadow. How many attacks do you have as an assist? Oh, it would have been great if I did that like a second earlier. Did I go through her there? Pretty sure I'm the one with permeation, not her. Throw the fuck away. There we go. 
They basically have to jump up for you to combo them there, so it's all dependent on if the computer wants to play nice with you. You motherfucker. I was just about to end it and you hit me the second before I hit that. I guess on the bright side, it, I'm glad it was the second before and not second after, otherwise you would have kicked me out and I'd have lost it. Alright. Oof, he almost did it there. Fucking Todoroki. Could have ruined my shit twice. That's like one of the few times I've really seen that work well. Puts his arm through her shield. Awesome. That definitely seemed to go smoother than some of the other ones, but he's actually a pretty good character, regardless of your skill level. But, uh, yeah. That's pretty much the end of that, probably the end of all our Mirio stuff for today, too. But, hey, thanks for stopping in today, and I will see you guys with some more videos in the future.